This is the BYD Atto 3, an EV that's popping up on the streets of Sydney, Berlin and Sao Paulo. And more Chinese EVs like it are being exported to the rest of the world. In fact, Chinese car makers now account for half of all global EV sales. They benefit from access to minerals and the cost-effective supply chain built over years. And from 2016 to 2019, Chinese car makers received $28 billion in government subsidies. That rebate program was phased out in 2022. So now China is entering a new stage of EV adoption. Car makers want to make inroads in smaller towns and rural areas, but to do that, pricing is key. The competitive auto market is in the midst of a price war, started by Tesla two years ago, showing no sign of slowing down. BYD, Xpeng, Geely and Leap Motor have all slashed prices to follow suit, raising questions over the sustainability of the strategy. When you look at the, you know, the intense price competition that you're seeing in China right now, that's not sustainable for any company. But record deliveries don't always translate into bumper profit. When BYD overtook Tesla as the world's top EV seller last quarter, preliminary profits for the year were short of estimates by half a billion yuan, and shares slumped. With the lack of government funding and a slowing domestic market, EV makers that do survive will have to come up with even better, cheaper products. Linda Liu, Bloomberg News.